Hello friends, for today I will give you the source code for the online healthcare record management system. So open up first your Firefox and then type bit.ly slash online healthcare. Please make sure you have already downloaded your WinRAR software so that for the instruction you can be able to extract what's inside the folder so download here click download or this one then save and after that after downloading right click to open the folder and please make sure to download again the winrar so extract let's have the extraction we have the online extraction this one okay so copy the online healthcare and then save it to C so we have in C please make sure also to download the some control panel software some and then HD docs then paste it so we have already the health online healthcare this one the code and now you're trying to open the some control panel please make sure also to download some control panel and then click start the Apache web server and then the MySQL so we have admin and admin click admin and click also admin of the mysql and after that we're going to have to be able to import the data file database file within this one um, as you can see our online database is hcmps pms.sql so right click rename and then copy then then go back again to the local host of the MySQL PHP my admin and then click new and then copy the database name file which just is hcpms and then create the database and after automatically created go to hcpms make sure the database is in here and let's go to import the file browse and then the settings we have C sum and then the HD docs and then go to the online healthcare and then this one the DB folder then import what's inside the SQL file and then click this one the go then automatically it will be imported all of the files there so these are the tables pertaining to the folder of the HCPMS. So if we try to have the login file, we have created admin and admin and this one. So let's try to use admin and admin for the admin file. Now we're going back to have the site. So in the local host, just type there online healthcare in the slash as you can see this is now the ide of or the design of the whole online healthcare record management system there is still login because only the admin side can log in here if we try to look back the local host and with the database and try to open hcpms what is our um, account login open it with the admin admin table and then we have the admin username and then admin password now that you have already the admin username and then admin password let's go back to our local host and then please put there because we cannot log in here because this is for patients so we have first the admin side admin and then type um, admin and admin is the password also so here 
this is the total pop patient population for 2020 but there are no records at the moment yet so we will try to add some records so if we look at the dashboards no records yet we have also you can create administrators account if you wanted to it um, we have password just as this one because it's already in hash so if you wanted to prefer an encrypted password you can have also this code like for example we add um, username um, Jonah password is admin also and then admin Jonah and then optional and then Warras okay so if you try to consider with this so we have the following you can also update or delete this one it's part of the administrator's account um next is if if you can show the account user like for example this is for the user itself we will add the following after that if we wanted to try to have a user not the administrator itself so the user means it is um, the form of the patient so we'll add some uh, username um, we'll try with jj or j or us and then password um or us first name Jonah middle name optional is optional uh Vermoy. okay section so if the patient is referred to us with um the urinalysis let's just save with this because that will be for in the section for the urinalysis so if you try to log out please remember that your username is JJ Juarez so the password is Juarez so here also we have the patient in the dashboard because the database from the patient is really empty so we'll try to have additional patient with this so let's add with patient like for example this is the ITR number this is the record number so we'll have to input that one because it's identically not into automation so we're going to input that one so like for example we have um, patients um, Aga then R Smith Drive and Vermoy Stripe um in day in a birth date fill health number if any because in healthcare in the philippines we have the fill health and we have address if any um like for example we have a input any numbers there and then the address your address and age can have input that civil status is like for example single um the bp 100 over and 100 over 120 temperature is 37 this is the patient number the pr 40 rr then just sample the weight the six and then the height and the distance is 165 so let's add to try with this um the gender please select also let's have save okay so we are now on the patient records this is following complaints so if we try to add some complaints it aga because the complaints here is in the sections kindly add if um uti this part of diagnosed in a section you can have the following because this is for the records in the dashboard so with regards to UTI here can be in the urinalysis so let's say with that save and then urinalysis that has been diagnosed the sections itself is when we try to have the data record of the following so if we try to have the following record we have this is not yet at the moment because we did not enter the following into our dashboards or we we haven't inputted this one so if we try to have the following in the patient monitoring so if you try to have the complaints it's already been diagnosed and then going to back or we can ab update with this one 
with this his status and then in sections um let's try to have the dashboard let's put them and then the rear analysis so again if we try to show the record okay now if you wanted to show this record we'll go with to log out from the section and then log out and then we'll try to have the online healthcare in the client side for the viewing of the patients so let's try um, this one we'll use the user because this is an admin type we have Jay Juarez and then password is Jonah or the password is Juarez so we have copy and paste that one password there is Juarez and then um, as you can see, there is now the record number of Agriprimor that we recently typed, we recently included in this one. If we wanted to view the data, because the NARS will monitor this one. So, I think that's all for our online health center patient record monitoring system or patient record management system. Thank you and have a good day.